Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Home Review. Today I'm going to try this Brimmer Bistro. This is the Savory, savory Lorraine Quiche. It is quiche in a pastry with mild Monterey Jack cheese and savory bacon. There are two of them in the package actually, and um, the Brimmer is a Aldi brand. This was $4.49, but like I said, you get two of them. And if it's 12 ounces or 340 grams uh, for the whole thing, see nothing else really. So per serving is uh, one quiche is 510 calories. If you eat the whole thing, it's 1,010. So you can do this in the conventional oven. If probably the best way to do it, honestly, is a conventional oven. But you don't usually have a conventional ovens at work, so we're going to do the microwave. So we're going to place the quiche on a microwave safe plate. Um, lined with a paper towel, so just put a paper towel underneath of it. Heat on high for three to three and a half minutes. I'll probably just do the three minutes. Um, I think it'll be fine. So let me get a paper towel. Just gonna lay that underneath of it. Um, I'll put a paper plate underneath of it too, as well. So they are individually wrapped. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna take it out of the plastic and put it on this. Oh, it's on a little, like a little dish. Well, why does it say paper towel? Hold on. Place quiche on a microwave plate lined with paper towel. I guess just in case it bubbles over. But anyway, I'll put this on a paper plate and put it under the paper towel, whatever, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is on the microwave. And if you notice, the tray, the little plastic uh, tray it was in, it's completely flat. It's actually a soft plastic underneath there now. Huh, go figure. Um, I didn't end up putting it on top of a paper towel because um, I didn't see any need for it. I already had it on a paper plate, so I really didn't, didn't need to put it on a paper towel as well. Um, so here's what they look like. The crust looks very, very wet and soft. So like I said, I'm sure this is better in the oven um, as far as texture goes, but you know, don't have ovens at work usually. So I'm going to let this cool off for just a minute and um, try it out. I gave it just a minute to cool off. I'll just cut it one more um, time and a half just to Get a little uh, smaller bite sized piece. I don't see a ton of bacon. I mean, on that side, you don't see any bacon. And there's a little bit of bacon on that side, you can see. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take on the end. I'll probably end up eating this whole bite, but we'll see. Mm, a little more bacon in the middle. I like the flavor of the crust. It could be a little crisper. That is true. The uh, Like I said, the oven would probably be a better way of uh, getting it crisper. But for what it is in the microwave, it's not bad. It's it's not as crisp, but, but it is a, uh, you can taste the pastry crust uh, flavor. And the egg and the um, the cheese taste good. I don't really get a bacon flavor, but it may not have bacon in that one. Maybe just a touch of bacon. Um, it doesn't have a really strong like, smoky bacon flavor. So if you're looking for that, you're not gonna get it. Um, overall it's okay. It's by no means a bad flavor, but it's just not a great flavor either. I mean, it's just, it's just an average flavor. Texture would be better in the oven, but for just the microwave, it's fine. Um, Flavor-wise, you really don't get a lot of the bacon. You do get the egg and the crust flavor. The crust kind of tastes like a Kind of like a pot pie kind of flavor. That's what that's what I get from it. Kind of that flowery kind of flavor, the baked flour. Um, you know, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's not bad. It's not great. Just okay. So, um, so yeah. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.